Welcome everyone, I would like to show how to split screen on any model of the Galaxy Tab S8. So one thing to keep in mind is not all applications will support split screen multitasking. This is because some applications only work, you know, on Samsung phones and so on the tablets, they glitch out. That's just one thing to keep in mind. Let's get started. So first of all, open up the first app you want to split screen. So let's say Microsoft Edge, this is a browser. And then the next step is on the right hand side of your tablet, you should see this little white outline. It's quite hard to see, but you should see it. And all you do is you swipe to the left using one finger to bring it out. And you can see here, there we go. Now this right here is the multitasking view. So let me just go through how this works. The top area here shows your most recently opened applications. The bottom area here shows custom applications you have set. So in order to split screen multitasking with these applications, all you do is you just want to long press on the app you want. So let's say settings, we'll long press, and then we'll drag it on to this area. Now, if you don't have this option here, where you can see drop here to open, drop here to open, drop here to open, drop here to open. And the only one you have available is drop here for pop-up view. That means that either your first application doesn't support multitasking, Edge, or your second application also doesn't support split screen multitasking. So if that's the case, just keep that in mind, you will have to use another application or use the pop-out view. So let me just do this one more time so I can actually explain what each view does. So if we drag here, drop here to open, what it will do is the first application, which is Edge, will show up on the left-hand side, and then the settings app, which is the second application, will show up on the right-hand side. And then the vice versa for drop here to open, on the left-hand side, settings, right-hand side, Edge. If we go to the top here, top will be settings, bottom will be Edge, bottom will be settings, top will be Edge. Now pop-out view, what it will do is Edge will stay how it is, however, you will have, how it says, a pop-out view of your application. So you can see here, here is settings, and what you do is where the blue bar is, you can use that to drag it around, all that good stuff. And so if you would like to customize this, just tap on the blue bar, and what you can do is you tap on this to pull it into proper script, uh, split screen, you tap into this to put a um, uh, to change the transparency, which you can see here. And you can see here, if we tap into this one, it will minimize the application. And you can drag this around, tap into it, pop it out, you know, all that good stuff. Tap into this for the uh, full screen view. And I will need to do this again. So let's just go to the pop out view. And then finally, the X closes out the application. So it is pretty darn cool to mess around with this stuff. Uh, once we do uh, go into this uh, split screen view right here, you can see the middle bar, you can slide it to change how each side is. So if you want settings to be larger, you just swipe to the left, edge to be larger, swipe to the right. Now, if you fully swipe to the right, settings will close out. If you fully swipe to the left, uh, edge will close out. Of course, I mean, you'll have different applications, stuff like that. If you tap on the blue bar here, you do have the similar options, which you had earlier. So let's just tap into... Um, uh, this first option you can see that brings you out into the pop out view and then of course tapping that again it goes into split screen you have full screen and then you can also close out the application as well now here's the thing i've covered the applications which are by default but what if you want to add your own application into this split area right here so what you're going to do is you're going to tap on the three lines here you're going to tap on edit and now you can edit the multitasking view so keep in mind guys these applications here, these are your most recent applications. There is no way to remove this bar. However, at the bottom here, you see where the X is? You can tap on the X to remove an application. To add an application, you long press, and then you drag, and then you release. And you can see an application has been added. Now, if an application doesn't show up here or isn't letting you add here, it isn't supported. So let's try this one here. And that is supported, but you can see all that good stuff. We'll just do, we'll do, we'll just do four. So we'll do full here. And um, yeah, so it seems like blue mail isn't supported or I just did it wrong. No, I just did it wrong. I didn't properly release. And so once you have those applications added, what you do is you tap on back. If you have the back button, you just swipe to the right, uh, to left or left to right. So we'll just go back here and you can see these applications now show up. Well, if you want to split screen with an application which isn't in your multitasking, you just tap on the triple lines, all apps, and it'll bring this view here and you can choose whichever application you want of course the app has to be supported but let's say i'm going to choose uh, let's see here i'm going to choose the regular uh we'll, do, we'll try minecraft so you can see here i do have the split screen so 
Minecraft does support split screen, which is actually kind of crazy to be honest if you think about it. But yeah, you can see that application wasn't in this area here, and we are now split screening. So <laughs> this seems just kind of weird that this works, but it is pretty darn cool at the end of the day. Imagine playing subway servers on the left and then browsing Twitter on the right. But um, yeah, guys, that's really uh, all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.